There is no better building hack than using invisible item frames. Check this out. We can place down blocks on the ground with no actual item frame in sight. We can move these items. We can pick them up, break them, place them back down, whatever we need to do. These are overpowered for building. First off, how to get them. You need a command. And the command is slash give space your username. In my case, it's Farzy. Then you're going to type in item frame and click where it says Minecraft colon item frame. Use an open squiggly bracket, type in the words entity and then tag, then put a colon, put another open squiggly bracket, then write the word invisible. One more colon, the number one, then two closed squiggly brackets and boom, here's an item frame that is not visible to the player. Now be careful where you place them because it might be hard to actually go find them and re-break them, but using this item frame, we can make some amazing builds. For example, here's a nice little tree. It's small, it's cute, but it's boring. We'll take out some apples and let's actually make this an apple tree by hanging up some apples around all the leaves. And look how much better this already looks. On top of that, take out some sticks and some kelp and add some fallen leaves and twigs around your tree. The possibilities to this are actually endless. We can make our nature builds look so detailed. As you guys can probably tell, I'm super excited about this because just like look at this detail. I love small details and builds and this really adds just so much immersion. And we can really get creative with our inventory too. So let's go look at other green blocks and see what could also make a good leaf. How about this right here? Green dye. So now we have multiple different kinds of leaves. We have twigs. We can even have some fallen apples on the ground. But this here is just the beginning. We can do a lot more with these item frames. Here's a simple small cave. But using these item frames, I can make a whole mining research lab with like pickaxes and ores and gems all over the place. It looks so immersive and once again, just so cool. We can walk all over these, we can move them around, make it look a little bit nicer to our liking. It's just chef's kiss. And check this out, in my cow pen, I have their food on the ground. I got seeds, I got grass, I got wheat, all here for them to eat whenever they please. And on the nasty side of things, there's poop with cocoa beans. Isn't that sick? I mean, it's sick to my stomach, but it's also pretty cool. <laughs> Now here's a cool idea I just thought of. Berry bushes in Minecraft are nice, but they're not the most detailed thing in the world. But now we can make our own custom bushes here using leaves, item frames, then put berries on the item frames themselves and look at that. That's a realistic and much bigger berry bush. And I'm sure we can make other kinds of bushes too besides just red berries. This one here is my toxic mushroom plant and over here is a cool like yellow flowering bush. If you're curious, I use warped fungus and then honeycomb. Next up, I personally love making roads out of all different kinds of stone variants and just gray blocks to make it look really patterned and detailed. But let's take this one step further using stone buttons. We can make little pebbles here. Look at this, a button in the item frame. It's a little small pebble. Then you can place the same button down next to it to make a bigger rock and add a bunch of texture onto your roads, even more than all this stone. I'm not sure if you guys actually care about all this detail, but I think it looks amazing. Like the way that all the black just pops off the screen and these little small dots is just, once again, chef's kiss. Well, those right there are my favorite building tips for these invisible item frames. If you have any better ideas, please comment them below, join my Discord, and send pictures of what you build. I want to see, because this is a really cool concept to me, and it's brand new to me personally. Wait, before I go. Guys, look, I murdered a creeper, and then the creeper's babies. All right, this might be a little bit too much, but you get the idea. It's cool to play with this thing, but I'm a little messed up in the head, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> On that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.